I'm from the Philippines. I'm from Phoenix. <laughs> Together, Together, we're Phils of Phoenix. Phoenix. Two countries. One heart. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our Chica Chica, Chica update. update. If you're new to this channel, keep watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that little bell so we do, when we do post new updates, you'll get notified. Correct. And... Happy New Year. Malipayong bagong tuig and maligayang bagong taon. Tagalog and Pisaya to all of you. Sa tanan, sa lahat-lahat. Okay. What's up? The update. What's our update? Well, it's a new year and somebody started a new, new job. And last night was her first night. Or day or whatever. Whatever. Yes. <laughs> new year, new job. What else? New life. New. Well, new let, let, let's start with a new job. New job. Okay. <laughs> it's a short term project, sort kind of thing like that for. Um, project accountant so basically um, doing taxes for the company so that's the main gig and yes last night I started so I have two days of training and after that we'll see how it goes yeah this is gonna be until February March time frame yeah and you're technically working in California California slash Illinois. <laughs> oh. Two, two states, so. Okay. I, so you would, I, been, you would have been working remotely even back in the States. Correct. Oh, okay. Well, that's actually kind of cool, so. Yeah. It, it makes for a little bit of time changes because you start at 10 p.m. And finish at, at 6, 6 a.m. Philippines time. Yeah, I, or I could start at 9 my time because if we have meeting, I need to start at 9. So tomorrow, 9 p.m. 9 p.m. So tonight, I need to start at 9 p.m to accommodate or to have all sync in our time zone because Alda has different time zone too so so much for that but that's the new thing for me having a new job <laughs> and, and this is actually kind of cool that it, it, it lets her uh, you know continue building social security it, you know the the money's nice but it's not as needed it is you know um, what normally would be that I, I my retirements are, are more than enough to live on here, but it, it, it gives you something to do and it, it lets you keep your skills active. Yeah. And it, it's kind of cool. Yep, I'm grateful. Because um, I get easily bored. <laughs> it's also self-worth. Um, it's I'm like my father. I'm basically the same with him. Like, I'm not... I've been working so long and my body and my brain just wanted to work again so and I feel yes the self-worth is the one that I want to you know so yeah that's it I'm excited but yep that's it uh, what's the second well the most people that watch this channel know a little bit about the Philippines and one of the the key things in the Philippines is you get the provinces, there's some horrible internet. And last night, uh, just before we, you started, that the internet was basically out for about two hours. Yeah. And we, we've got a little bit better internet. We've actually got fiber internet here, if you want to kind of call it that way. It's like five up and 10 down. It's actually, for me, it works really fast last night. So I don't... And that may be one advantage of doing this overnight here. Yeah, is the, uh, what called it, the download and the videos are like shh, instant. So I'm grateful for that too. So yeah, I will see what's in the future. But we're going to move into Cebu City for a month. Yeah. To, to help with it, to, to let her get started. Isn't that there they do have be uh, much better internet. Uh, we booked a place through Airbnb that they're saying that they get 25 megabyte uh, internet. Yeah, so. and we also, we have a lot of errands to like. And yeah, there's a lot of things we need to do. like I have a lot of things that need to be done, like social security, feel how, changing of name and so on and so forth. And yeah, there's a lot of things that, need, that we need to take care of. In. 
in the city because if we need if we like do our commute it's it's a lot of time consuming and it's really tiresome and yeah we, we wind up spending the night in Cebu City the, we tried driving back after dark one time and for a multitude of reasons just decided that was not going to happen again yeah uh, and so after you know three four nights there we're spending the, the same, same amount, amount as you know spending a month there so yeah and it's going to give us some time to ourselves that that's yeah. something we haven't had in two plus years or yeah. just a, just under two years it's been quite a while it's good to at least like a week or a month to ourselves if mom and papa go for visit and my brother for visit for especially the upcoming season but it's good to have a place not you know like spending so much money for for a week you know come to think of it it's just good it's um it's a wise decision to stay a month there and who knows we don't know for the second month we're just kind of rolling this like as we are here in the philippines because we just don't know well, and that something else that's going to be a big advantage is we'll be a lot closer to the Department of Tourism and a few of these other things to see about what it's going to take to get to Malaya Live. Yeah. Uh, and we'll be able to make those arrangements a little bit easier. And by doing it through Airbnb, it's a month-to-month -month arrangement so that if we want to stay another month, we can. Yeah. Uh, if we want to stay three, four more months, we can do it each month at a time instead of having to sign like a one-year lease or something like that and it's not bad at all it's it's actually it's really it's a convenience you know they have a really good um amenities swimming pool you know and it's close to the mall and yeah clean and the internet is so fast and yeah so i'm looking forward i'm kind of excited I, I am as well, and it'll be kind of cool. I'm not in love with living long term in Cebu City. After 20 plus years in Phoenix, I'm kind of done with big, big cities. Yeah. Me. I'm looking forward to getting back to the smaller cities, and it, it's gonna be fun to go back there and check it out. Yeah, and we kind of like explore in Oval last Sunday, but yeah. We just didn't have the chance to. Uh, the, that's it's it need more time. That's for sure. Like right now, it's the immediate need is the errands, the things that we need to take care of, and my work. You know. We saw a couple places in Wall that would have been really nice to go to. Uh, if but I'm it, not working. <laughs> yeah, if we didn't need the internet and. You know, it was more of a vacation type place. That's good. They, they would have been beautiful. And they, they would have been extremely affordable. Uh, we did find online at least one or two places that would have been nice, but they were horribly expensive. The Mwapal is more of a resort area than it is, you know, some place to go. It's good to visit from time to time. Yeah. And I, we're definitely hoping to get back there sometime before we leave to Malai Blai. Yeah. But, you know, God willing, the time as well. Uh, actually, for updates the, with the holidays, we celebrate the holidays and didn't do a whole lot more than that. So that's our biggest update. Is that we're moving. Uh, somebody got a new job, yes. and I'm really proud of her for that. And we'll see you next week at Cebu City. Yep. Mabuhay. Bye.